the cheapest thing I could actually find on the Louis Vuitton website was the pen refill for $13. Louis Vuitton even sells straws in a pouch. Again, copying our ideas of turning SLGs into bags. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess! <laughs> if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers, so all your help would be amazing. I wanted to talk about the cheapest things you can buy at Louis Vuitton today. Oh, guys, since all the Louis Vuitton price increases, it's hard to find affordable options for people who are just starting out into luxury in the past. There was a few hacks we could do, such as buy the toiletry pouch and turn it into a bag. You know, the toiletry pouch used to be a, a little bit more affordable, but now Louis Vuitton has taken that away from us and they've actually released their own toiletry on chain, which is kind of blocking us from doing that hack. They still do have a toiletry pouch on the website called the Posh Toilet NM with the leather. But now that is over a thousand Australian dollars and it doesn't really seem like a bargain anymore. Similarly, the mini pochette used to be a lot more affordable, but now that it's reached the a thousand dollars price point in Australian dollars, it's not really, I would say, entry level anymore. And again, Louis Vuitton have released a mini pochette on chain. <sighs> Again, copying our ideas of turning SLGs into bags. There is still the cosmetics pouch at $825 Australian dollars, which I have seen some people hack into bags. And this is something that Louis Vuitton have not yet copied from us. I have not, I'm yet to see a cosmetic pouch on chain on the Louis Vuitton website, but you can buy conversion kits to turn this into a bag as well. This is still under the $1,000 Australian mark at $825. So the conversion bit, the conversion kits you can buy contain D-rings and a little metal kind of rod which you can poke through the like gap in the Vaquetta um, sides and you can attach a strap to that. And it actually looks quite cute because, you know, sometimes you know, they've done the Escal collection and Game On collection and you can just get the cosmetics pouch and turn it into a bag and a lot of people collect these cosmetics pouch because they're a little bit more affordable and they're quite substantial in size, like they can even probably fit like an iPhone mini and, you know, some other little knickknacks. So if you're wondering, guys, there is still this piece that is, I would say, an affordable option that you could pick up from Louis Vuitton as like an entry piece if you're new to luxury. The pochette clay, which I still have, I would still say is one of the cheapest things you can buy at Louis Vuitton. On the Australian website, it's currently 450 Australian dollars. Um, I bought mine for like 200 and something like five years ago, so it has gone up. Compared to all the other things on the Louis Vuitton website, this is still a very affordable and iconic piece, and it's something that you can use like every day. I still use mine every day. Mine has a pop stitch. I think I overstuffed it here, and the corners are starting to wear, like the little flowers are starting to fade off a little bit because I really use and abuse this. I chuck it everywhere. Um, it's got wet. It's, yeah, it's a bit of a workhorse piece. I mean, all the hardware here has got scratched up as well, but, you know, it's something you just use and abuse and it's it has lasted uh, for the last five years. So I'd say like something like this is still worth it because you will wear it all the time and it's very iconic Louis Vuitton. You could go for the pochette clay extra large. That's 5,500 Australian dollars. Um, That is a really awesome piece. Honestly, I love it. I haven't seen anyone wear that piece in real life, but I have seen a few unboxings of it. Uh, Living Lux and Meredith just got that piece. I think it is pretty awesome. Uh, but if you love the pochette clay, um, I would still recommend it. Even though it's gone up a lot in price, it is still relatively affordable for Louis Vuitton. I don't know if you could hack this into a bag, guys, but maybe if you attach a strap here, you could, but yeah, you can definitely get creative. Another piece I would recommend from Louis Vuitton, uh, the Louis Vuitton book. Uh, my boyfriend, I think, bought this for me from the Louis Vuitton store. It got wrapped in the uh, packaging and all that, and I think it's around 100 Australian dollars on the Louis Vuitton website or if you walk into the store. But um, if you want to pick up this book for less, I'm pretty sure they sell it on Amazon or 
like uh, those bookshop places. I've even seen this book in Kmart for like $40. So I would really recommend uh, picking up the Louis Vuitton catwalk book. There's also a lot of other books you can buy on the website, which I would think make really good gift ideas. And, you know, you can get it wrapped up with the Louis Vuitton bag and make it have the luxury experience for, you know, like $100. I think it's totally worth it. And I've read this book like so many times guys like I love it it's a great reference as well if you're a Louis Vuitton collector and you just love dreaming about Louis Vuitton I actually don't collect Louis Vuitton anymore but I still love looking through this book it is just I don't know I find it so exciting um similarly actually I have a few books from Hermes I know this is a Louis Vuitton video but I bought a few books from uh the Hermes boutique so this one I love it has a lot of the uh Hermes windows throughout the years and this one is a really cute pop-up book but these were also quite affordable and I think make really good gift ideas so I'll definitely check out the book section of Louis Vuitton there is a book on there that is like two thousand dollars what was it it was like four thousand dollars for a book where is it? There is a book called Louis Vuitton Manufacturers Collector's Edition, which is 3700 Australian dollars. So there is some really expensive books on there as well, but most of them range from like 100 to 200 ish dollars. So yeah, I think they're pretty affordable and like really uh, good things to get. Honestly, the cheapest thing I could actually find on the Louis Vuitton website was the pen refill for $13. It was like a ballpoint pen refill and I w was wondering whether I could add it to my cart because I think it would be really cool if you could spend $13 online and get like all the packaging in that. I was like, is that like a loophole? But it was out of stock on the website. Um, I'm not sure if the pen refill is hard to get because it is so cheap, like $13. If you want the actual Louis Vuitton ballpoint pen, I saw that was one in Alligator, which is around $1,800 Australian dollars. So yeah, if you buy the actual pen, it's quite expensive, but the actual refill is quite affordable. Similarly, the agenda refills are also affordable for luxury and they're quite cute actually like the um small functional weekly agenda refill is 98 australian dollars it looks like it has like really cute pictures on it and that sort of thing you can buy an agenda refill for like you know 20 bucks from kiki k or etsy or something but i mean the louis vuitton one you pay a little bit more and you get that luxury experience uh, you can even get the uh, medium size for 110 uh, the agendas themselves i think are a few hundred dollars but they're actually still uh, actually no they're quite expensive the small agenda is 590 australian dollars which i guess is on the cheaper side it's still under a thousand dollars um and the desk agenda is around 865 dollars but if it's something you're going to use every day, I still think it's kind of worth it. Like similar to this, like it's still really expensive, but it's something that you use all the time. And it just like every time I use this, I'm like, oh, Louis Vuitton. So it does give you that little bit of a feeling. So if you're someone who uses agendas, I would still say it's worth it. I mean, if it was like two thousand dollars, I'd say no way, but it's still under the thousand dollars mark probably okay i mean if you want to get thrifty i'd probably try pick one up second hand you could probably get it for even cheaper um and similarly hermes have leather agenda covers as well which are similarly priced in their leather so i personally would almost go for the hermes one because you get that real beautiful grainy leather but if you're a big fan of monogram canvas then maybe you would go for the louis vuitton because you know everyone has their taste and preference and there is something very satisfying about having matching Louis Vuitton monogram everything so if you have like a monogram keyboard with the monogram agenda and then the monogram wallet and like it just it looks really nice together if I had more monogram I would go for an agenda as well but because I have more Hermes bags I would probably go for the leather agenda from Hermes because it's not that's around the same price actually um something cheaper you could go for is the notebooks uh the clement notebook is 370 australian dollars uh but the thing with these is that you can't like i guess refill them you use it up and you're done and then you i don't know maybe you could repurpose the cover maybe you could cut the the book out and you could probably do that i'm sure people have done that and just sort of like reused the cover but I mean, it's probably easier to just get the agenda uh, cover. And if you didn't want to buy the refills, I'm sure there are like ones you can buy on Etsy to fill them up yourself. I know if you're really into stationery, guys, this will be so worth it. Like, I love stationery. I used to collect Lisa Frank stationery, and I have a lot of like Japanese pens and Hello Kitty and 
I just love stationery. So if I was a, like, honestly, like, I don't know why I haven't got into the Louis Vuitton stationery because there is a lot of really cute stuff, even like the pencil case. So you can go for the pencil pouch at $615. I mean, it's pretty expensive, but it's cute, guys. Like, this could also be great for like eyeliner or lipstick, I imagine. The sunglasses case is also not too bad. It's also $615. Um, it's a little bit bulky, like when I put sunnies in my bag, I usually put them in like a soft case, not like this hard bulky case, but I mean it does look cool. I'm not sure if it would fit all sunnies as well, because I have a lot of like really big sunnies, so maybe this would not fit all sunglasses, so maybe it's not worth it, but I would personally go for the, the pencil pouch. I think that's really cute, and I would use it more as like a cosmetics case than like a pen case. If you want to go for a limited edition one, like the the Paris one is $740. Not too bad in price, honestly. Um, some of the more affordable things I would say are the silks. Yayoi Kusama Bandeau with the faces is $415 Australian dollars. I think that's not too bad. Um, it is actually more expensive than the Hermes Twillies. The Hermes Twillies, I think, are about $300 Australian dollars. So Louis Vuitton silks are actually more expensive than Hermes, which is surprising. Even the 90 by 90 uh, square scarves are 820, which is more expensive than Hermes as well. So I don't know, Hermes are like actually really reasonably priced for all their lower priced things at the moment, especially compared to Chanel. Like all the entry level things at Chanel are really expensive. Um, Hermes still has like things that are quite affordable in the luxury market um especially if you compare to louis vuitton like because louis vuitton have raised their prices up quite a lot even with their silks they they're more expensive than hermes now but yeah different designs i personally prefer hermes silks i think they do more detail in like their illustrations there's just like a lot more um, depth i feel like to there especially their 90 by 90 scarves but i was a little bit sucked into the yoyoi Yoy kusama pumpkin scarves that they released i do kind of want one of those but i didn't pull the trigger because i'm like ah uh, i think i'd rather buy like an hermes tulip scarf or something i still really want that tulip scarf but i have um i'm not giving into temptation yet i bought three scarves in the last like year so yeah i'm trying to buy less scarves but i love silks and um if you love louis vuitton silks they're still relatively affordable. If you want to go for the 45 centimeter square, it's $435. Not too bad. Like, these are good gifts for like under $1,000, I would say. Now, things that you would think are affordable are not. Like, I thought that the chopsticks would be affordable, but the chopstick set is $2,160. So, definitely not an affordable option. And Louis Vuitton even sells straws in a pouch at 1700 so louis vuitton straws are also not affordable just for your information uh when it comes to perfumes they're also pretty expensive for perfume like um the travel sets are 470 australian dollars like louis vuitton perfume is actually quite expensive like especially even comparing to chanel and hermes like you can get some like entry level perfumes for you know under 200 dollars but all Louis Vuitton perfume seems to be expensive. Um, you know, if you want like the spell on you, it's 470. So yeah, they're expensive fragrances. I'd say the most affordable things to buy at Louis Vuitton at the moment is anything that's a refill. So an agenda refill, a pen refill, um, books, they're affordable. Um, the clay, not too bad. I would say the cosmetic um, little dome pouch thing, not too bad, like kind of worth it. Oh, the slim wallet, also not too bad of a price. Like most of the smaller wallets and card holders, not too bad, but you know, for canvas, I mean, there's so many places you can get a card holder from. I don't know if Louis Vuitton is like the best, unless you collect Louis Vuitton, you want matching Louis Vuitton everything then I would, but uh, compared to like, if you don't collect Louis Vuitton, you can get a card holder everywhere. But to me, this is iconic. The toiletries are iconic. Um, yeah, and they're like under a thousand dollars. So they would make like really good gifts. But let me know guys, what are the cheapest things that you love to buy at Louis Vuitton? And is there something that I've missed that I didn't mention in my video? Uh, let me know. Louis Vuitton is going to become really expensive. Like there's nothing really that affordable anymore. Um, if you want to be thrifty though, I'd check out Japanese like pre-love market like eBay. It can be risky. Honestly, buying secondhand is always risky, but you can find a lot of cheap monogram pieces in Japan especially. So that's how I started 
it out if you just want to get a feel for the monogram and honestly like some of the older monogram pieces uh felt thicker and kind of more substantial as well than the newer uh pieces that are coming out anyways thanks for watching my blabby video today and i'll talk to you guys on my next one bye